Hi, Brian. How's life? Not too much. Uh, not bad. It's, I, I feel like it's been a hot minute since we've, uh, since we spoke. Uh, it has, you know, it's funny you say that because I was actually just thinking about that, but mm. I think, uh, I mean, hey, what can you, I mean, listen, we were, you know, talking almost, uh, pretty frequently about DPD and Davis PD and like building it up. And, I know! And once we lost that, it's just kind of like, I mean, what can you do? I mean, we're kind of, I mean, you know, you're doing your own thing in the troopers, right? I mean, what, what made you want to go to the troopers, by the way? Um, hopefully you'll know soon, but it was not an easy decision. But I, uh, I think what I'm going to be responsible for is going to be a good thing for the city. So, I, uh, that's primarily why I, uh, took the leap. I got you. Well, I'm sure you made the right decision. I mean, uh, I think, I think being a trooper it will suit you as well. So, <clears throat> think so. I'm still getting used to not being in black. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think, uh, no, I think. I think you'll fit fine and you'll fit fine the troopers I, I think it's good for like a fresh start too you know into like a different uniform you know different uniform yeah yeah i could see that different experience but you know i'm sure you made the right decision especially you got other things going as well so but yeah you know, the you know the thing is um i kind of i don't know i still kind of like when I look at our numbers, like almost every, I mean, it's been like this for a while, right? We sometimes yeah. have, that's the thing that crushes me about Davis. Cause we shift one was looking so good. And I know people think like, okay, well our cadets weren't, you know, up to some standard or whatever it was. But I mean, man, we didn't have the resources, you know, but even then, like we watched over them. We brought, they were still in transition. We had a, you know, the plan was a multi-month plan, not a, you know it wasn't designed for three months i mean we were doing so damn good for only having three months like and i people people were saying our cadets weren't up to good standards is that yeah there's there's a lot of that but i'm just like like we don't didn't have a dozen ftos we didn't have like veteran high command right yeah. we were nurturing them a different way with a similar end goal um but i don't know i mean i i see you know most of our guys are still around and they're doing fan uh, you know how it is right people want to talk about the failures but not all the success stories exactly i mean yeah. look at sweets look at lovesick uh i mean look at um i mean you fucking name it to be honest everyone people have been going on to do good things and i mean most of the people that are doing good things are all dpd anyway right so I, I'd like to think so. I mean, um, man, I don't know. I got a special place in my heart for those guys. They took a chance uh, with the fledgling department. And, uh, you know, even with the restructures and shit like that, it wasn't, um, I don't know. They uh, they could have disappeared, but they didn't. Exactly. And yeah, it just, it sucks sometimes thinking back to what DPD was doing. Cause I really felt like, like we were, uh, doing something good like really good i felt like if we were given maybe a year uh maybe even more than just a little bit more in three months oh, i feel like we would have yeah. there would be no question on you know if dpd is getting you know but i mean barge back into the lspd with everyone right i feel like it would have been agree. different i feel like dpd would have been its own department we had more time to just keep putting you know showing what we keep really mean vision. yeah mm -hmm. uh, yeah i don't disagree um I try not to think too much about it because it just makes me depressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, same here, same here. But I mean, it's tough. It's tough because like that was my, that, I love doing that DPD stuff. So right now the, the LSPD, I know, I remember talking with you when the LSPD, when I first joined the LSPD, like, you know, about a month and a half ago, mm -hmm. right? About how Libyan dark and what they're doing and stuff. But uh, I think right now, I don't know, I just, it's tough because they're more like Libby's shift three. You know, she's going to sleep like about two hours before I'm waking up. Dark, Dark is around sometimes, but he's. I honestly think he's more of a late shift three into early shift one. You know, so I just don't see these people as often as I would, you know, hope to. Mm. And you know, I'm not sure how shift three LSPD is doing right then. Um, you know, I know they're I know they're working on a shift two. I'm not sure about shift one, but 
I just don't know where exactly uh, that's all going because right now my I mean my biggest goal honestly is SRU because that's I care about SR one SRU like the most you know that's what mm. I love doing SRU stuff but uh, that's all you know that nothing started up on that yet you know because they're still waiting for everything to, to go through yeah but, it makes sense but as for like the LSPD I'm just not sure where I stand right now you know I I've expressed that I'm more interested in more than interested and happy to help. Uh, but you know, things are different right now, right? Shelby does the budget and all that. So there's no budget. Mm. Uh, I've expressed interest in training and FTO, but I don't think, uh, LSPD can't see us fully launched yet. Uh, as far as I said, I know it's just been BCSO. So, I don't know. It's just a lot to digest, uh, figuring out where exactly my path is. I've, uh, did I ever, I don't know if I expressed to you, but I was, I think I told you long back ago well, I was potentially interested in the troopers because I just felt like I mean, maybe that would have been something different for me something fresh something new uh, but mm. still just trying to figure out where everything's going I'm I felt Nine like I had a track you know like I knew what I was doing with Davis P like you know I had stuff like I was I knew what I was needing to do get cadets trains you know push out the twats for hiring review the applications you know like different stuff like that and i don't have any of that mm. right now so it gives me i guess more time to patrol but i mean i've i was already doing that as well i just want i want to have more responsibility i guess maybe i don't know i don't know what i yeah, want to do no and i think you did really you did fuck i mean look i i know how much work you put in yo motive um, Thanks and, for the nine months you know, man I'll, uh, love you dude until I uh, until I hit the grave, I'm I'm bringing it to the grave. Is uh, Suarez did more than uh, most, even in high command. <laughs> I mean, I saw it. Like I, you know, like I may not look. I mean, it's obvious. <laughs> oh, you're you're fine. I mean, <laughs> you're all good. I I'm just I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do here with the LSPD or what the plan is. I feel like I haven't mm. been shown what you, the plan you is you know i mean i i think it may be valuable to approach libby and dark and ask for more responsibility i think it would too i i i think if i if i do see dark or libby uh, i will try to uh sometimes it's just difficult to catch them you know send them an email that's true email is always an option i mean it, here's the thing right um i think there's a it's a very childish mindset in los santos in that it's sort of deemed inappropriate for asking which in any other city that's what you should be doing you know what i'm saying like i know it's got negative connotations but uh it never hurts to ask because otherwise they may not themselves know that you're interested in more responsibility right that's true no you're not wrong they're not wrong so i think and wor worst case, right? They're, uh, I mean, for all you know, they might be looking for someone. Or, uh, you know, like, worst case, there's like, no, Suarez. And this is <laughs> why, right? Yeah. And they might be like, you know, then at least it kicks off the convo. Exactly. No, I don't think you're, I don't think you're wrong. I think that that's, uh, that's something I, I should do. I should shoot an email, uh, over to Dark or, yeah, I'd probably start with Dark first and see what, mm -hmm. see what the, the vision is, I guess, for Shift One and express my interest in it and stuff, but. But yeah, I mean, outside that, I mean, hey, the UPD stuff has passed by pretty quickly, huh? It's five days left and everything's. Oh, shit. Off. You're not wrong, actually. Yeah. Gone by. Uh, it's gone by faster than I thought it, it would have, but. Mm. Uh, it seems like the general vibe I've been getting is, uh, you know, the morale is pretty down, but hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm hoping for uh, things to, you know, push back up. Um, yeah. I don't know if you've been getting that vibe that morale has been down or what how you've been feeling about it all but um yeah i think morale is pretty uh down low um i think it's a culmination of a lot of things some of which i'd rather not discuss yeah um here uh but i think it's a mix of things like i i don't think it's like one thing i think it's a i think thinking it's a one thing is, is hyper dangerous and probably borderline manipulative yeah. But, uh, you know, I think it's, uh, you know, I think it's a lot of things, but, uh, like I like to tell others, um, it's always best to try to be the solution and 
part of that is uh you know doing what you can to uplift agree everyone's got to play their part right in trying to mm -hmm. push back the the morale to what it was uh even though it might be difficult uh that's that's all we can really do right because i mean you could join mm -hmm. it with the doom and gloom uh but you know it's it's definitely hard i won't say it's easy by any means to just say oh you know pretend like everything's perfect right but uh at least trying might not is, is a step in the right direction true so i mean listen i've been i've been cracking on patrol for like two months now okay <laughs> there, there's a point where i just like would get on radio and be like fuck this <laughs> yeah i <laughs> yeah there's there's been or, plenty of times where you call I get, or i get like lectured over dumb i don't know man like it's uh I, I think some, I, fuck it. It's hard to, it, how do I put this? I, I'm like afraid to talk about some of the legitimate things because there's other things like looming in the air. You know what I mean? Because it mm. kind of feels like it's, it's undermining the other shit. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? In a sense. Yeah. But I, I do think, uh, there is, um, I don't know man it's i think it's a mix of things i think uh, a lot of people have been uh, patrolling for a good part of three years um i think there's a lot of built animosity between officers i think there's you know i i think upd restructure has significant issues in and of itself but it's not like the sole thing like even before all of that there was a lot of shit popping off um I don't know, man. I think there's a lot of things, but you know, what is in your control is, uh, you know, making the best of it. So. Yeah. Getting out there and doing what you can yourself, uh, is, is important. Uh, I won't lie. It is, it is sometimes hard though, to see blows go to people that I feel like from what I've seen deserve, you know, hopefully bad. I would assume better. I know you're probably, I know one of them would Maya. be Maya. Uh, yeah, yeah man, that shit and crushes me. I just, uh, you know, it's it's tough seeing that, uh, and I, I pray that there is, you know, an underlying reason as to why. Uh, you know, it's not set on my control, obviously, I, but the, I, I'm 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 somewhat understanding of what's happening, but I I, uh, I, I don't know the details. Tsunami. Yeah, I don't oh, know. Yeah, it's it's uh, um, just continue being that shoulder for others. It's all you could do, right? Try to boot, try yeah. to try to do what you can, and you know that that's all you could do. You know, you mm -hmm. not we're not the you know the chief of police or people in charge, but all we could do is do exactly. our part. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's yep. not up to us. We don't have the power to change how things are or how things are going. Uh, you gotta leave it up to them, and you know, because they're put in that position for a reason, right? So that's what you gotta do. Exactly. Yep. But. <sighs> And uh, I'll see you.